Hello everybody, welcome to the season 48 first round match between Nelicius and his Dark Elves and Guest1242, what a great name, and his Dwarves. Starting off with a Riot and a Daka. Um, good. I do like a Daka, especially versus Dwarves with uh, four Mighty Blow and a Pom. The Dwarves have a babe, only 12 players. The uh, Dark Elves only have 11 though. And they've got Edge Up, Move Up, Strength Up, Mighty Blow, Juggernaut, ugh. And a couple of guards. So pretty nice, pretty nice uh, Dark Elf team, but I would definitely back the Dwarves here on teams. The juggernaut. Ah, there's a lot of perms. Okay. Ballin' bird. <laughs> well, we've got a good, a good name there. Dodgy Dave. All normals, please. Yeah, no block. Jesus Christ, imagine not taking block. What a fucking lame. No offence, Nolly. <laughs> no offence, but what an absolute fucking lunatic. Oh, yeah. No. Poor old Bean. He's got wrestlers though, hasn't he? Um, so like you can block the wrestlers. Also, I think you probably shouldn't be looking ahead. I don't know, I don't like to look ahead. Purely because it's so random, I think. I think that's the thing. Like, I definitely look ahead in skill-based competitions but seeing as Blood Bowl is just so random I think any sliver of equity in in the next game is probably going to outweigh any potential equity down the line that's just my opinion I may be full of shit Well, I mean, I certainly could be wrong. I'm not full of shit. That's just what I believe. The th the thing is, nobody knows the truth because nobody um nobody knows anything to be about Blood Bowl, really. All it is is people's idiot opinions. Until we have until we have Blood Bowl stockfish, which we'll never have. Anyone's guess is as good as anyone else's. Interesting Daka defense here, isn't it? I, that was something somebody did was like go a bit stronger on one side. See, that seems like it could be a way to answer the deck, but still very dangerous. I mean, I, I already hate it for Juggernaut. I, you know, I just God. God. Not what I would do, but it's fair enough. People can have fun. This is still round one, and round two has started. But unfortunately, I, uh, I, you know, stayed up pretty late playing Minecraft a few days, and uh, did other things, and it's just one thing or another. It's like, there's always a lot of games in the first week, isn't there? Twice as many as the second week, which is already a lot of games, but the first week there's a lot of games. Uh, I would try and hold the sidelines as stand firm. 
So, but also tackle, so it's tricky. But I would definitely be like holding the line. I'm not, I'm not going in the middle here. By the way. Hermit crap. Um, they don't think it's a big deal. Wolf bar. I don't know. I like how they just totally glossed over it in the patch notes. They were like, ah, oh, it doesn't really matter. And it's like, really? There's only 10 tier 6s? And you think, not knowing what other people, like... I guess it doesn't matter to most people. Feels to me like a big deal as well, but I guess it doesn't matter to most people. Juggernaut! Gets the pow. Thanks to Juggernaut. Best skill in the world. Good for the Dakar as well, to be fair. Good for Surf's. Like, it's not the worst thing. It's obviously better with Strength 4, isn't it? This is a lot of space left by the Dwarves, isn't it? A ridiculous amount of space. Easy progression. Well, okay, I don't like the ball position, but never mind. Most of the high-rated players seem to hate it. Well, it's probably one of the things that, like, you know, it. Uh, if, if you're good, I mean, I don't know how good the best star, the story, the best storybook brawl players are, but the, uh, I guess, the. Um, the idea is that if you're better than everyone else, you can use the fact that it's a shared pool to get further ahead, can't you? By like keeping an eye on it and then reacting based on it better than they can. I think very little of it, because you've got so limited information about what the other players are going, that I don't think it really matters much. Like, often you don't see people's board until like it's round five and stuff and you're already in quite deep into your build by then anyway. It's not like TFT where you, you know, you see the top players on TFT and they're just constantly switching between the boards, like all the, all the rounds, every round they're constantly switching, looking at the boards. Like just literal constant clicking. You don't get that in story, but Brody, you'll just... You'll play somebody on like 1-2 and then you'll play them again on level 6 and then you'll play them and you'll be like, oh shit, they've got an upgraded Ashwood. Guess I can't go trees then. But, you know, it's, it's almost too late then anyway, isn't it? Potentially. I guess sometimes you'll see something that somebody's kissed or whatever which will give you a bit of a clue, but very rare. But then, you know, I'm somebody who thinks positioning doesn't matter, so... In TFT and, uh... Dota Underlords. I feel like positioning just basically doesn't matter. I quite like that aspect of positioning in Story of Brawl because it definitely matters, obviously. Like, it's basic, but at least it, like, obviously matters. And a tiny amount. Well, pretty good from the elves. So there's just so much RNG, isn't there? And like, you know, who goes first and everything. Like, you know, who attacks who and all that sort of stuff. But especially in, in TFT and that, like, there just seems so much RNG. And obviously people can, like, move their guys as well. That I just think it's... Positioning is overrated as hell in those games. But obviously people like to think that they're big brains. And they're doing the right things. Which is why I think most of the good players 
will think will want the shared pools because they want to think that they're being clever and outplaying their opponents. Right? Frenzy opportunity gets the pow. Oh no. He had to do the GFO. He had to, I don't know if he had to or not. Got the stand firm in now though, which is helpful. Okay, I want to be loving that. He'd say he gets to plug in the stand firm. Lovely square. Gets the surf. This is pretty greedy. Not really, I guess. It was a lovely square. <laughs> Glorious, Flicky. <laughs> oh, it's 10 7. It was a lovely square. Not lovely enough, though. He got banged out. Well, banged down. Wow. I don't like this square for the Witch Elf. She might get surfed. You know what Pea's pudding is? You're lucky. <laughs> You're fucking lucky. I feel like I'm going to throw up. Unrelated to the peas pudding. Nice score, did he? Well done, Nolly. <laughs> I like how I somehow pay le even less attention to the game when I'm on my own than <laughs> when I've got core commentary in. <laughs> oh, God. I would have not qualified, so I can't really say anything. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Ce joueur va se prendre un coup dessus et en dessous de la ceinture. Allez les gars, tous ensemble. The double goals. Comme le lapin de la Russelle, ce joueur dure vraiment, vraiment plus longtemps. Not making it a 3D. Jesus fucking Christ. Or just blitzing with your Slayer. Blitz with your Slayer, man. Oh. 
joueurs KO sont de retour. Formidable Le contrôle du ballon sera la clé de la victoire I've just realized that these dark elf things are like uh are like the tower in uh Lord of the Rings, aren't they? You can't really see them but on the closer ones, but that's kind of what they're like, isn't it? There you go, pretty cool. <laughs> Five A. <laughs> yeah, these are not these are not my finest uh not my finest casting ever. Chalice nerves. Chalice nerves. Yeah, that's fair, Kalon. Yeah, they, you didn't really seem to. Uh... Do anything on defense. <laughs> didn't deal with the Daka very well. There's the bang out ball. It would with back, yeah. It was a good laugh when we did them. I wouldn't be that concerned about practicing for tournaments or anything. Like it's just a fun throwaway game, I think, SBP, I don't think. anything can come from it, that's the thing, right? it's not. Cette formation permet d'avancer sans trop de risque. Ça va être dur de leur arracher le ballon. Pardon? Good pile on the edge five, I like that. Écrasement! Les cieux qui roulent dans les orbites, ça ne trompe pas. Il va rester dans les vapes un bout de temps. Oh, poorly, woof. Um, I don't know, because it's a long time since I played Storybook Brawl, but the last time I was in, there was something like six games. And you had to like finish first, like probably two or three or something. Maybe you had to like get two firsts and like two top threes. It was like super hard. Like really hard to make day two. Yeah, exactly. There's a lot of people so you gotta you gotta win a bunch of them and it's just obviously hard to like you can't consistently finish first, can you? And and obviously other people are trying to do it as well, so like everyone's Trying to high roll kind of thing, it's just a bit weird. Something happened near the ball there, with hardly any players left. I'm not sure how to even bother with that, to be honest. Always a bit of a space cadetting, it looked like, but I guess now they'll just lie down for overtime. Or perhaps the one turn.
Yeah, different from playing like the the SBB Tony is different from like the normal ladder play because I just hate finishing eight. So, so like I'm never gonna pick Horde Dragon on ladder, but you pick him every time in the tournament because he's got a chance to finish first. Better than most chance to finish first. What a weird spot to not put him there. Like, isn't that weird and terrible? But he knew that Nolly was going to roll a 1, so he didn't have to put him in the right square. <laughs> he induced the dodge indeed, yeah. <laughs> he knew the next roll was going to be a 1, so he's like, right, I'm not going to trap him. <laughs> Yeah, poor decision to roll ones constantly. Oh, he's not on the stall square. He can get uphill into the end zone. Not really, of course, because nobody's close enough. But there's a, you know, this could be a bait to try and get. And just another one. Looks like he's fouling here, doesn't it? Watch step guard, pretty good player. Gets the KO. That was a big foul. Sent off. Trades a mighty blow guard. For a guard step. It's going to have two chances to come back for all the time. Not what I would have done. Hmm. Bit more tempting. But not when you've only got guard mighty blows that can do it. <laughs> I wouldn't even want to foul with just the guarder. Oh, the jump up, the jump up serves. I'm not sure how good that was, because I could give him the surf back. On the plus point, you can say, look how clever I am, I did a surf. <laughs> he did come off for us. Oh, he didn't dodge that guy off. What? Attempt to burn the blitz so he can hit the witch though. Maybe that was on purpose. Oh, now we can't hit the witch. Probably can't 3D. Oh, he can. He can even 3 into 3. Amazing. There were so few players on the field, I didn't think you could do it, but then obviously they were all dwarfs. <laughs> Every standing player was a dwarf. Okay, so, chance of a one turn, but probably over time. Three, six, eight players. Maybe ten. This is eleven.
I guess the draws have been to touch and lucky here and not get the attrition, but then there was a lot of lying down and there was also a DACA, wasn't there? So they haven't had that much opportunity to get removals. coaching. Fun fact, I always take an, a, uh, an assistant coach rather than a cheerleader just because I personally would rather win the brilliant coaching kickoff result. <laughs> I'd rather it was my brilliant coaching that got me the re-roll than the cheerleaders. <laughs> Course in Blood Bowl 3. Nobody should ever take. Chili Dor and Assistant. Monty. Huge KO results. I was trying to say results and rolls at the same time. Huge KO rules. Le carnage peut repartir de plus belle. Un joueur de moins, c'est facile à remplacer. Les deux équipes sont au coude à coude. Ce coup de pied est Delves win the toss. Le carnage peut repartir de plus belle. And therefore, probably the game, so we've got three rerolls. Ten players. Va falloir le soigner, ce coup de pied. Yeah, chance to win the game is pretty good, isn't it? As much as Kekwadi is good, it's not as good as just winning. This is a bit of a Gadenic setup, but it's really not the time to do a Gadenic setup. This could be uh, this could be a disaster. Honestly, I don't like just not giving it to that side stepper. I would have just gone sideline with that side stepper. I think. Also, I would have blitzed the strength for the edge. Oh, c'est tout sauf une bonne idée de finir sa course si près de la ligne de touche. C'est un coup à se faire dans la bouche. La dernière fois que c'est arrivé, il a fallu trois jours pour reconstituer le corps. Ouh, il ne fait pas bon se retrouver là. Oh god, yeah. Oh lords. Oh, that was terrible. No, that was terrible, Nolly. Jesus Christ. Got really and lucky with that defend. result. I will defend. Well, you should have taken the push. Jim Hallow, Jim Hallow. You could have just taken the push there. You should have just taken the push.
Wow. No, he just went that way. Yeah. Oh god, I was being dumb. I was thinking you could surf him with him, but you can't. Ah, it wasn't that bad. Five plus. I don't need to imagine. No, I can know how you were going. <laughs> I can know how you were going. Thank you very much, mm, Savage, for staying fantastic for four glorious months. One who will be the pregnancy. Oh yeah. Well, there you go. That was a match. It was pretty much a blur for me. Um, congrats, Nolly. <laughs> Commiserations. His his opponent. I I've already can't remember. Um, <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Stay fantastic. <laughs>